evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. left by real deal. Great movement to get away from those punches. Nice strike after catching one by the flash. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Wow, is he defensively sound. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Real Deal's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Way to block there. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Real deal's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. That straight right unable to connect. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Able to land with the right. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right I'm what you're talking here. about. Watch he can't, he's shots. chomping at the bit. He's constant. Let's see some defense and more punches. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to show you his blocking ability. The flash is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Oh, look at that. You know you need space to punch. He realizes that, so he pushes his opponent. 
Showing you some defense there with the block. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the flash. And he engages in the clinch. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Good looking uppercut that time. The flash is just making some room for himself here. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Halfway through round number two. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Real deal's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Off the target by real deal. Solid left hand to the head. Able to get rid of that one. The flash is being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. That was not well targeted by Real Deal. Jab. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back again. with the right hand after getting scored upon. End of the round. Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas and the punch stats that you see will show you all you need to know there. He was the busier man, thus he's winning. He is the busier man. But, you know, what it doesn't show you is the impact of the punches. And that's very important. His opponent started to land some heavier shots as the round ended. We got it. Well, don't get careless out there. And round number three is underway. See, not just one jab, he throws that second one right behind it. Blocks that punch. Real Deal's punch didn't come close. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And now they're trading blows. Deal's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Come on, kid, focus. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Yeah. Good job. Real deal is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the flash. Real deal's left landing well. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the flash. Pace yourself. 
parries that punch intended for the head. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This crowd can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. Good way to protect the midsection. The flesh is tagged by that powerful hook. And he's holding. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Not precise at all by real deal. Ten clicks of the top. Very nice defensive guard there. This is the fight. You're winning this fight. Estás ganando. Just we keep doing what you're doing and you've got this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Looking good. Keep it up. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count him. You need to throw more punches. The body, bang the body, hit that body. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. The flash is not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Keep those hands up. Unable to connect by real deal. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Keep working the body. Keep doing what you're doing. Halfway through round number four. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Flash is left now getting into the mix. Real deal has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Beat him to the punch! To the head he goes with a left hand. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. So this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. He just missed that shot up top. Come on, kid. Focus. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Good job on the two-punch combo by Real Deal. Jump over him. Nice. The Flash is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it going. And as this 
round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Huge. Nice movement there. Keep that up. Round number five has arrived. The Flash is coming off a very determined three moments that was quite impressive. In fact, I think he's got a chance to get right back in this fight, Teddy. Well, Joe, I tell you what, I'll go one step better. He's right back in this fight. All he has to do is keep that attitude and keep that same kind of rhythm he had in the last round. Good job protecting himself. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. And here he goes again with the clinching. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Real deals whiff in there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time, he's going to capitalize on it. Just misses with that headshot. And he ties up on the inside. Good exchange. He fires back. How about a return to center with the left hand? Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. The Flash is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Blocks the headshot. What an excellent two-punch combo by Real Deal. Real Deal's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. He missed with that headshot. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. He scored well after being hit himself. Fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A games. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And now another left. Well off the mark by Real Deal. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The Flash's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Real Deal's punch is far off the target. Blocks away that headshot. Yeah, yeah. 
Just like that. Let's go. Oh, that's a big right hand. The Flash is showing some real touch here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he is getting... Did you see that? Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive.